No matter how many times I repeat to myself that there is no one hiding behind the door, that there is no Annabelle or Pennywise waiting for me in the dark, I still feel the compelling need to turn on the light. Fear is in our nature, therefore, we turn on the light. How convenient. Unfortunately, that convenience, electricity, at the best of times, is not the best of solutions. Here's why. Fact. According to 2013 statistics, Italy's highest value in terms of total CO2 emissions from heat and electric power production was in 2007. It amounted to over 40%, 25% more than its lowest value in 1960. To make this abstract figure more concrete, let's imagine the Duomo of Florence. The levels of CO2 emissions in 1960 would more or less have reached the top of its arches, whereas in 2007, they would have reached the top of the nave's roof. That's a 25% increase in less than half a century's time. And imagine how it will further increase if we do not act on it. It's a paradoxical situation. Have you ever heard of a mother that does not take care of her child's rising fever until the child experiences a seizure? The answer is no, because it will be unethical. And so, is letting CO2 emissions raise the global temperature. We're all contributors to the release of CO2 emissions, and even turning on the lights when it is not absolutely necessary is affecting our planet to a disturbing extent. In fact, one third of the CO2 emissions released by the Italian electric power industries burning of fossil fuels remains in the atmosphere from two to 20 centuries. Because of this, in 2016, the first mammal species, the bramble camelomus, was declared extinct due to climate change. This was preceded in 1988 by the orange spotted bellfish in Japan. And it will most likely be followed by another six species, including polar bears, according to National Geographic. Now, how long do you think it will take before it will be our turn? As a matter of fact, many studies confirm that the correlation between CO2 emissions and climate change is close to linear. And some of global warming's frightening side effects are the rising of sea levels, extreme weather changes like Hurricane Irma, and the melting of the Arctic polar cap, which, according to scientists, by 2040 is expected to have a nice free summer. Whether you're a climate change skeptic or not, the one scientific truth, as stated by the United States EPA, is that the burning of natural gas, coal, and oil for heat and electric power production is the single largest source of global greenhouse gas emissions. But what can we all do to save our planet, our home, from this low cooking? We can all agree the light is indispensable to us and that many of us cannot totally eliminate it from our lives. Nonetheless, there are still some other ways to decrease electric power consumption and consequently CO2 emissions. In terms of energy consumption, there are five steps that I personally take to complete my share of environmental preservation that you should be mindful to consider. To remind myself of this efficient step, I came up with the acronym GREEN, where G stands for green energy. Rely on green energy, such as solar, hydro, and wind power. For instance, you could purchase a solar panel and install it on your house's rooftop. R stands for rays from the sun. Don't turn on the lights if there is already enough sunlight coming through the window into the room. Be mindful about when you really need artificial illumination. E 
stands for energy efficient light bulb, use halogen candescent, compact fluorescent lamps, and light emitting diodes. These use 20 to 85% less energy than normal light bulbs. E stands for expenditure. Don't turn on the lights or leave the TV on when there's no one in the room. It's a waste of money and energy. And finally, N stands for nightstand eco-friendly light. If you're still scared to go to bed in complete darkness, at least use a nightstand eco-friendly light. I'm almost 18, and that implies being mature. But it also means to be willing to take on responsibility and not act only in self-interest. Our planet is dying because many of us still haven't understood the extent to which our actions affect our earthly community. We should be the generation to finally not put this gigantic problem in the hands of others. We should be the generation to finally gather up the will, determination, and constancy to stop this suicidal behavior and begin stopping it now. I am doing my part with Green, and I implore you to do yours as well. Thank you.